the difference between artificial intelligence, AI, oh, and uh, people is that machines never have dreams. We have dreams. If you don't have dreams, you will never win with machines in the future. If everybody agrees, then there is no opportunity. When people criticize you, and you have to think. And I spend most of my time thinking about the future. I spend most of time listening to the complaints. Because people like me, we don't have money, we don't have technology, we don't have a strong relationship. The only thing we competed with the others is that how we see the future. If I believe the future like this way, and those people believe that way, of course we are different. And when we believe that is the future, we start to do it. We start to spend time, we start to gather people, we start to do little by little. And uh, I think everybody can be successful if you really try, try hard. I started Alibaba in 1999 in my apartment. I talked to the 18 founders that one thing we want, one of the things we want to prove if Jack Ma and his team can be successful, 80% of the people in the world, they can be successful because we don't have money, we don't have technology, we don't have almost nothing. The only thing is that we believe in the future and start to do little by little. So people like us, we are getting used to be criticized. We are getting used to be said no. People say no to you. When people say yes to you, we really appreciate because it's not, you know, why people should say yes to you? You have to prove. So as an entrepreneur, you have to get used to be challenged, have to get used to be said no by the other people, by the, found, by the investors, by your customers, by the people. But this, this is the opportunity. When everybody believe it, you have no chance. When only a few people believe it, you believe it, you prove it, that's your chance. 1999, in my apartment, 18 founders, the only purpose at the time, we survive. We, 19 peop we 18 people gather 50,000 US dollars. We think we can last for about 10 months and then raise money. But only four months later, no matter how we tight the budget, we still run out the money. So everything we think about is to survive. But we believe that internet will change China, internet will change the world. We believe if we don't succeed, somebody will. But if we start to do now, and be smart enough, find the right people, do the right things, we will win. But later now, uh, we're getting bigger and bigger, we now think it's our responsibility. It's something that, it's the mission somebody put in our heart that we should do more because we found, we helped create 40 million jobs. We helped over millions of companies, small companies survive why we cannot help 100 million jobs globally, why we cannot help small business in Africa, Middle East, developing countries, make them successful. By the way, the difference between artificial intelligence, AI, oh, and uh, people is that machines never have dreams. We have dreams. If you don't have dreams, you will never win with machines in the future. If you're an entrepreneur, if you want to do some business, think about you should never think about succeed next month. You should never think about succeed next year. If you think about next month, you will be successful. Easy come, easy go. You will go down very quick. You should think about, is this thing will be good in 10 years? And have a patience. And the second is that get the good team. If somebody in your team is better than you are, follow him. If you think you are better, share with their ideas, your trouble, your thinking, and hard working. There's no other choices. I feel more comfortable that I work as a teacher. I, uh, I never thought that I could be a CEO. I remember more than 10 years ago when company was in big trouble, 
one of our investors kindly and very politely say, Jack, you think that somebody can do a better job? And he's thinking that you should, you should resign. And I, I heard that and I said, I cannot resign now because if I resign, the company will collapse. I will resign when the company is good. So since then, I was preparing always finding people better than I am in the company, giving them the opportunities. My position CEO is called a chief education officer in the company. So I built up the company more like a university. We call our company, uh, uh, the, the ground is called campus. It's we learn together. We trust e each other. The African desert, uh, African green is, uh, the, the ecosystem is not controlled by lions and uh, elephants. The ecosystem is controlled by the insects in the mud. Last century, the company, the big, the better. So everybody wanted to be a big company, the powerful company. This century, from now on, a good company is more important than a powerful company. When you compete with big companies, I've been, in the past 20 years, we've been competing with any company, lots of companies in China. But I learned one thing, no matter how strong an elephant is, if you're an ant, if you hide yourself well, an elephant cannot kill you. You can kill the elephant if you're in a better way. Life is about experience. So when you become an entrepreneur, don't worry about the competitors. Don't worry about the mistakes. Don't worry about the challenges. Go through it. That's the great fun part of your business, of your experience. And then you got a courage, you got a wisdom, you got a team follow you. You should always think about the future. Think about how we can, there is very little we can do to change yesterday. There is very little we can do to change today, but there's a lot of things we can do to change tomorrow. If we do a little bit today, we can change the future.